So what you are going to witness now will blow your mind. Nah, I am just kidding. I am making good old shim curry the way it is made in most Indian households. And I bet you, if you like spices and you like seafood, shim curry is what you want to try. And once you've had it, it will become part of your weekly menu. So let's get started. So I have here 340 grams of raw shrimp, raw peeled deveined tail off. This is the one that I'm using. But you know, if you ever get a chance to visit India or if you are in India, it's best to go out to one of those fish markets and get some fresh shrimp. The one that I'm using is uh, from a packet, so it was frozen and I had just thawed it. So I'm going to use that. So in my hot oil here, I'm going to add one teaspoon of cumin seeds. And see that spluttering going on? And one teaspoon of mustard seeds, black mustard seeds. And as soon as our mustard seeds begin to splutter, we will go ahead and add onions. I'm using one chopped onion, thinly sliced. And along with onions, we are going to add chopped ginger, garlic, and some green chilies. So I'm using three, four cloves of minced garlic small ginger so like one tablespoon and one green chili so we'll mix these well and to make our onions cook faster we are going to add some salt so one teaspoon and we'll wait until our onions are golden brown alright so as you can see my onions have turned golden brown and now I'm going to add some tomatoes that I have pureed. So I have here a tomato puree of two large fresh tomatoes and I'm gonna mix it in and we'll let this cook for about five minutes and along with this paste I'm going to add some turmeric that's healthy and some red chili powder. Just adding some red chili powder you can also use cayenne pepper, paprika and I'm going to add some turmeric so one teaspoon turmeric that's healthy and red chili powder should be as per your taste I've already added half a teaspoon I'm just gonna add half a teaspoon more just because I like it a little spicy and nothing like spicy shrimp so we'll mix everything and we'll let our onions, tomatoes and other spices cook for five minutes look at that beautiful curry that's coming along tomatoes are getting cooked here and what i'm gonna do now is add some tamarind juice so i had soaked in some tamarind pulp in half a cup of water then i just took them out and we've got this beautiful uh, tamarind juice and i'm gonna add about four spoons four tablespoons now if you don't have tamarind juice don't worry you can always use vinegar or lime lemon juice uh, but this just gives it a very authentic flavor so now along with our tamarind juice I'm going to add teaspoon of brown sugar and that is just to balance the flavor because tamarind and tomatoes can make it really really tangy and we just want it to have that nice uh, sweet and sour kind of flavor so just adding about one teaspoon of brown sugar here and in this mixture now we will add in our shrimp so just adding my shrimp here and shrimp doesn't take too long to cook it will just be about 7-8 minutes 10 at the most and if you want to have a little bit of thinner curry you can always add some water I'm going to add about half a cup here not too much because shrimp has uh, some water content as well which it's gonna leave here so just add some water about half a cup and we'll cover it and let it cook for about 10 minutes 
and the good thing about using uh, deveined and tail off shrimp is that it makes your life so much easier you don't have to go through you know the deveining process and peeling and everything so I'm just gonna cover this shrimp just pay attention to the time because you don't want your shrimp to be overcooked as it can get you know rubbery all right are you ready to see the final product i am ready mmm smells delicious just the last part i'm going to add some garam masala a pinch of garam masala now if you don't have garam masala don't worry um, you can always use some black pepper and uh, coriander powder and if you're using coriander powder make sure you add it along with uh, spices like when you add turmeric and red chili powder then add your coriander powder and my garam masala has pretty much everything so I'm just gonna add it just the last mm, look at that beautiful curry I'm going to garnish it with some cilantro leaves And you can serve it over bread of plain rice, naan, chapati. Look at that beautiful shrimp curry.